Frugal friends, welcome back. It is another hot, glorious morning. We've got a lot to do, so let's go ahead and jump in. Oreos. One, two, three, four. Is that? All right, four packs of golden Oreos. And we are taking those on our camping trip. What else? We've got kettle corn. Looks like there are two of those. These are called Made Good Chocolate Banana Granola <laughs> Minis. That sounds pretty yummy. We've got the Smash Krispies, Strawberries and Cream. Another Made Good. This one is Bars. Some Chewy Chocolate Chip Quakers. Another Made Good, and this one also is Bars. I'm going to get this food stuff cleared out of the way, and then we will jump into all the makeup because there's a bunch. There is a little bit more food that I missed. There's these Lorna Dunes. Every time I was in the hospital, I've had, what, nine surgeries? And then, of course, with my three uh, births, well, not my birth, but <laughs> delivering my babies, um, every time in the hospital, I've had Lorna Dune cookies. I don't know if that's the case everywhere or just at the hospital that I went to, but um, you tell me in the comments. Uh, <laughs> Lorna Dunes and um, graham crackers and Oreos, you know, in the little uh, like individual packets, always in the hospital. Those are what they had. Is that the case at your hospital? Tell me. I'd love to know. All right, then we've got... So let's see. All right, these are all feminine products, obviously, but I'm, I'm looking... I wanted to, to double check if this was something that they had destroyed or if this was just the way it was. Well, I really don't know. Uh, this, this definitely could have been with a box cutter when they were opening the case. And I'm not used to these guys destroying anything. So that's my, that's my best guess is that uh, it was a box cutter when they were opening the case and that's why they were thrown away. These are not something we see thrown away very often, but these yeah, we will absolutely hold on to these. Uh, this is the U by Kotex, and they're just ultra thin. Now, are they liners or actual pads? Oh, they're pads. Yeah, that's great. 26 in that one. Uh, let's see, 30 in that one. These are poise, but they'll work. Then we've got, and this is, this is heavy, uh, a cast and wound protector. Hmm. I think we'll add this to our emergency supplies. P.S., because of all the earthquakes uh, that have been happening... Uh, and then because of all the fires going on, we, yeah, we're on fire again. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm out here on the porch, and you can probably hear in my voice that there is smoke in the air. Uh, hopefully, it's it's not too distracting. But we are going to be working on our emergency kit, and we'll be bringing you along for that. And I think this will be added to it. Something that will come in really handy, and I might just grab one right now, <laughs> is this uh, Sepacol Extra Strength. I love Sepacol. In fact, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to just go ahead and grab one. Uh, looks like someone nabbed two of them of, of the blister pack. I'm going to nab another. That's probably why this was thrown away, because someone went ahead and helped themselves. Okay. Hopefully, that helps a little. All right, let's jump into the makeup. So we've got some Maybelline powder, really light color. I think it might even be too light for Olivia, but uh, one of my sisters-in-law, I think it'll work perfect for her. This is Solar Oil uh, Nail and Cuticle Care. I'll try that. This is Burt's Bees BB Cream. Again, another really light color. And where we've been getting out in the sun, Olivia's been getting quite tan. And so I, I, I think um, it probably won't work for her. And it's definitely not dark enough for me. Uh, we've got Wet n Wild Pump Keep Going. This is Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. What do we have here? NYX. I'm not familiar with that brand. Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. Uh, Maybelline Superstay Multi Stick, uh, or it's Multi Stick, Multi Use Foundation Stick. That's that's more the kind of color that we could use. 
This is Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. I can't really tell what color it's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be this color here? Yeah, I don't, I don't wear foundation. I have uh, the Mary Kay Mineral Foundation Powder. That's all I wear. I don't do like liquid foundation or anything like that. So I am horrible at, at anything to do with that. I don't know <laughs> enough about it. Um, Revlon Insta Blush. That's really cute. Let's see. Uh, more of the Revlon. Oh, this is Insta Fix. So it's got to be like a concealer. I do use concealer when I need it. This is Make It Dewy Setting Spray. Is that for your makeup? Like spray your face? Um, some of the things they come out with. I don't know. And I was a Mary Kay lady for almost 10 years. And still some of this I'm like, what? Uh, there's that NYX brand again. Faux Whites. What are you supposed to do with it? Oh, it's an eye brightener. Inner eye brightener. Ooh, no, I couldn't do that. No, I don't need stuff getting there too close in my eyes. Another of the Faux Whites. Let's see. This one's Lavender Blush. We've got really cute little sparkly glasses. Love it. Love it. They're Disney, of course. Oh, there's another makeup. Uh, medium. Let's see. Almay Smart Shade Anti-Aging Skin Tone Matching Makeup. Is there more? There are some Band-Aids. Oh, no, they're not. They're wound closures. Uh, adhesive surgical tape strips. We'll add those to the emergency kit that we're talking about. Ooh, look at that. I love that color. Can you see it? There we go. That is totally my kind of color. I don't wear lipstick very often either. Um, hardly ever anymore. But I'd like to start wearing some makeup again. More than just, you know, my mineral powder that I sometimes wear. And then, you know, mascara and eyeliner really is all I ever wear. But it'd be fun to start, you know, dressing up again. This is Wet n Wild. That is really pretty. This is Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator. That's really cool. I'm keeping that for me. Let's see, we've got uh, Sundown Naturals Complete Omega. Looks like they might have gotten a little a little warm. It's These have all been sitting out on the porch, and so they got a little warm, but I think they'll be okay. We'll take them in now. Uh, Complete Omega Wild Alaskan Salmon Oil. There is some Sure deodorant. It's missing the lid, but it's still got the, the safety thing, so that's fine. We will use a lid from one of our other deodorants. I think that's all of the makeup. We've got two of these Eight Silly Monkey books, and they are fabulous. They're in perfect condition, board books. We can put those into the gifting station for when we need gifts. There's the little collapsible uh, uh, ruler, just needs to be washed. This is the one that some of you probably thought was kind of weird that I was keeping, but it's a, it's a really colorful push pop. I will be adding that to the wine bottle garden. Uh, stay tuned for a little bit of an update on the wine bottle garden at the end of this video. Oh, this card. We wanted to see if it was gross on the outside or just the inside. It's the inside. Nope, never mind. <laughs> it, it got wet and yucky. Darn it. There is a bubble envelope. So that's um, the stuff from the pharmacy. There's more, but that's just what was in this. It's all mixed up, guys. Everything is mixed today. Uh, let's move on to stuff from the party store. So there is a handle, and then this is guy that goes on top. Look how freaking cool he is. We are totally keeping that, adding that to our Halloween supplies. There are one, two, three, four of these. Now this one is cracked. Are they all cracked? I hope not. No, they're not. And do you know there's a good chance that this got cracked in the process of our dumpster diving and throwing stuff in here? Bummer, bummer, but that's okay because you know we can find something else to do with it in one of our many craft projects that we are working on. Uh, so yeah, they just say beauty elixir, and my guess is that they got rid of these because they were missing a couple of the stones. Hey, there's an option. We can cannibalize, uh, pick off some of the stones from here to complete these. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. This one, is it also missing? Yeah, so these ones, I think that's all it is. They're just missing a couple of stones, which we will take from there. There is the unicorn. It looks like her leg is the issue. We'll see if we can fix it, and if we can't, um, I have this other craft project that I am currently working on. Yes, I'm working on a million different ones, but they are getting done, and uh, she'll come in handy for that if we can't fix her. Then, did you guys see that one? The Alme 4-in-1 um, Clear Complexion? I don't think I showed you guys that one, so there's that. And then there's some other stuff down here. Is that what I already showed you? 
Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm a mess. All right, then there are these ribbon spools, and this is so cool because I find the empties all the time in the party store bins. Never do I find them with any actual ribbon left, so that is so fun. We will keep those and add them to our gifting supplies. We don't pay for gifting supplies. Uh, we find all of it in the bins. Then there are these, uh, what, what were they called? Smens, yeah, smelly pens or sorry, scented pens. <laughs> These are glitter gel ones. And one of them had gotten broken and was in the bin, but we'll just take these out and have them as individual uh, uh, pens and they can go in our gifting supplies. There is a manila envelope. Um, I think that's it for this tote. Hey, we finished a tote. How about that? I'm a happy camper. All right, I'm going to get this stuff put away and then we'll go on to the next one. Next, we have all of these Heartline uh, Hallmark cards. These were in the dollar store bin and they're just lots of different ones, um, like anniversary ones, birthday ones, thinking of you, sympathy. Oh, look how beautiful that is. You know, I love hummingbirds and it even is with a thistle. That is so cool. So a whole box of those. I'll get those cleaned up and organized, decide which ones I want to keep for us and which ones I want to share. Then there's all of this uh, Pampa strawberry fruit spread. You know we'll be keeping that for us. Uh, school will be back in session before you know it. Yeah, can you believe how fast? I mean, the summer is flying. So yeah, we will keep that for lunches. There's some broken candy in there. We'll throw that out. Then this, uh, was this all from uh, CVS or sorry, chain pharmacy. <laughs> Are we? No, actually I think there's some dollar store stuff in there. All right. We've got the made good granola minis. We've got some Lamisil foot spray. We've got all of the polar seltzer. These are all lemon flavored. I will gather these up and uh, I will be sharing these with my sister-in-law and she in turn is, um, very generously, uh, her and my brother, oh, dang it, are teaching my daughter, uh, well, basic, uh, what she call it, sports ball training, but then also um, helping her with, uh, sorry, I'm talking and thinking and moving these at the same time. I know, you guys are used to me being all over the place, but I'm working on that. Um, but they are also helping teach her softball and volleyball. Olivia will be playing volleyball in the fall and then is working on learning softball to be able to try out for that later. And so weekly, uh, my sister-in-law and my brother are helping Olivia get ready and train and learn. So yeah, kind of a, a fun trade uh, lessons for seltzer. How about that? Everybody benefits. Okay, we've got two packages of plasticware, blue plasticware. We've got a bottle of Perrier L'Orange. This I will give to my mom. We've got <laughs> this guy. He's he fantastic. Look at this flamingo. Yeah, he is totally going out in the wine bottle garden, which is turning into something of like a crazy color Dr. Seuss kind of wacky land. Yeah, this is going out there. It just needs a stick. That's not a problem. I have plenty. Uh, I think the rest of this is from the dollar store, I think. Well, no, this is from um, Burlington, and obviously one of the hair pretties um, is missing the other parts of the disco balls, and that's why they threw that away, but we will still totally use that. So we've got tissue paper. We've got the number five foil balloon. We've got these mountains, I mean mountains of cards, and what I need to do is go through and organize them, obviously, and see if there are any that we will want to keep for us. I don't think so. I think most likely we will either sell or share them because they're just not something I'm interested in or that my kids are interested in. Um, although weren't there like a couple of Star Wars or something? Yeah, okay, we'll keep the Star Wars. We'll keep that one for us. Um... And if I see any other of the Star Wars, I will keep those. And wasn't there, like, I think there was a Marvel, um, 
Is that freaking Twilight? No, it's Justice League. Oh, <laughs> okay, we'll keep that because I know Reagan will want those. If there's any more of the Justice League or, or those kind of things, then then we will. But, oh, there it is. It's, it's an open package of the Justice League ones. So the other cards must be in here somewhere. Those are the kind we'll keep. The rest, nah. We will try selling them. Several of you have suggested selling them, and we will definitely look at that. But otherwise, uh, if they aren't something that's going to sell or that we find to be worth trying to sell, then we will just donate them somewhere where some kids will enjoy them. Okay, then we've got this light-up necklace. And every year, at almost every holiday, you will find these being thrown out. Uh, different ones, like, you know, the four-leaf clover, um, the heart, all those different ones. For every different holiday, they do light-up necklaces. I love these. These are so great for when we go to Disneyland and things like that, or camping or whatever, um, or any kind of um, touristy or like fair uh, carnival situation where something like this would cost like 10 bucks. No, you don't need to. You've already got yours with you all blinking and lit up and at night no one can tell or and no one cares that it's not the one that the park was selling for 10 bucks. You're lit up that's what matters and that's what we do with those very handy we've got bubbles the handle is broken off but that's not a big deal we'll still totally use those plus i also think that this plastic where it's this fun green could be used in another project crafting outdoor sun catcher type project there was some illegal dumping in the dollar store bin so there's a black tank top and we'll wash all this there is what is it, a soccer kind of shirt. There is a long sleeve button up shirt. I'm going to have to move all these magazines. Uh, we better, we better move these. <clears throat> there are the sticker albums. These are the Incredibles and we're going to go ahead and hold on to these ones. They're a little bit messed up, but that's okay. We're going to hold on to those and then we're going to share these other ones. Yeah, we'll look at selling them. Um, We'll see if that's if that's something we can do, but if not, then we'll just we'll just share them. Uh, these Disney Princess ones, though, of course, I'm super excited about. I don't know, maybe maybe we'll try. Uh, if if we aren't going to, just think about the crafting possibilities with all of these fun graphics. There there are possibilities galore with this. We can absolutely just cut these up <laughs> and and do whatever. Yeah yeah. Look at see. There's plenty. There's plenty. Oh, look at these. Imagine these made into bookmarks. Absolutely. Or, or these made into bookmarks. Um, just, you know, fold it over double, uh, put some cardstock in the middle, laminate it. You've got a really fun little Disney princess bookmark. So crafting possibilities galore, because I doubt we're actually going to try collecting the stickers. I don't see us doing that. There is a water squishy ball. Throw it over to our water toys. There are some popsicles some broken glasses for the broken glasses project that is coming right along along with all the other projects that we're working on we've got some jams It'd be really cool if they fit any of us we'll find out after we wash them there are some oh these are fun some stretchy pants we'll get those washed up see if they fit any of us and then a really fun top look at this oh this is fantastic it's even got sequins that is, that's gorgeous. I'm in love with that. So we'll get, we'll get that washed. There is this little mushroom house. And if you were to look at it from right here, you would say, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Well, no, it's, it's broken on the back. Uh, does it have the piece? It does have the piece. I don't know if it has all the pieces, but with what there is, we will try the E6000. We'll see if we can fix it. And we will add that uh, to one of the gardens. There's a spatula. This goes on one of those little dollar store uh, massage things. No, it has not been used. The other piece was in the bin, but it was also broken, so we didn't bother with that. But anyway, um, there are some flowers. Uh, is this, oh, some shorts, some kind of shorts. There's more of those Incredibles. These ones are, in, they got all bent up from being in here. But again, we can, let's look and see. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, look at that. We can totally craft with these. This would be really fun framed. And we, you know, we have a million frames. So 
Uh, you know, I think that's what we're going to do with that. I think we're going to definitely frame one of those. All right. Then let's see more of those sticker albums. Um, I think that's all that's left in there. Don't want to miss anything. Oh, some glitter glue. There is some glitter glue. We will add that to our crafting supplies. We don't pay for crafting supplies anymore. Nope, nope, nope. We get plenty of them in the bins. Okay, um, I will go through all these and I will let you know for sure if there were any from The Incredibles. I'm just, I highly doubt it. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way and uh, get on to uh, the rest. Moving along, we have the bolt of fabric from the craft store bin. Really fun, really cute. Bunch of corks from like wine bottles, super fun. I'm thinking once I get this washed up, this might work for curtains in my kitchen. Then from Burlington, oh Burlington, I couldn't believe it you guys. I could not believe we finally scored at Burlington. So there were all the boxes and each of them had at least one broken jar, but look how many we were able to salvage. Can you believe this? I'm gonna get these stacked up and then I'll show you how many we ended up with. There you go. We have almost, almost three full sets. We are missing one of the mid midsize, but I'm pretty excited about that. So I have no idea what we're gonna do with these yet. I will keep a few, maybe one set for us. And the possibilities really are endless for organization of crafting supplies, your beads and all kinds of different things. The, the problem is I don't have room <laughs> for any of this kind of stuff. So I will look at it. I'll take a good long look at the possibilities for this in my home. Um, I'm also thinking these are things that could work outside. But it, yeah, I'm gonna have to think about it for a while and we'll see what I come up with. And, and then if I just can't think of anything, then I will offer them out to neighbors and friends. They're not something I would try selling, you know, online because of the glass. I just, I really limit myself when it comes to any kind of glass because it's just a pain to ship it. There are all of these lids too, though, from the broken ones. These I am keeping. These are going to most likely end up in a wind chime. I'm doing several wind chimes and sun catchers, and I'm, I'm thinking that's probably where those are going to end up. There is a frame, uh, the, the back piece, the little flappy thing just needs to be reattached. Then, oh, oh, this, okay. This is one that is unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, not necessarily this, but the fact that all of this clothing and stuff did not get slashed guys, not at all, not one piece. All right, there are these pants, kind of like um, beach or sailing or I don't know, beach bum kind of pants. Then there are all of the Zoo York, uh, they're not hoodies, they're just like jackets, track, track jackets, I guess. None of them are slashed, not one, guys. And there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, six of them in different sizes. Looks like probably large and extra large. Yeah, large and extra large. Can you even believe that? Not one was slashed. That is insane, especially for Burlington. Then there is this kind of bolero little lacy jacket thing. It has that I could find one little bit there. Someone probably tried it on and had lipstick on. Guys, if you're in the store and you're trying stuff on and you're wearing lipstick, wipe that stuff off when you're gonna try on clothes because unless you're planning to buy that, which you're not going to most likely once you've gotten lipstick on it, and that's just, it's wrong. It's unethical and the lipstick. My ladies and gents, please, not when you're trying stuff on. Then there's the curtain panels and the issue here is there's like discoloration on, on the curtain panel on that that part on that one. Everything else, well, no, no, I guess it, it looks like it did kind of seep through. It's some kind of maybe rust or something. Uh, so we're gonna have to think on this, what we can do. We can absolutely save the top part with the, the grommets and everything, and we could add other fabric to this just like cut it off and and sew on something else so then you have curtains which is definitely a possibility something i would consider but i would love to hear any of your ideas for how to still salvage these obviously there's going to be plenty of fabric to still do with other things um but let's get let's get even more creative than that what else could we do with that please tell us in the comments your suggestions all right then there is the little step stool 
uh, plus chair. The problem here is it doesn't lock, and I'm guessing that's why they chucked it. So what I'm going to do, and look at that fun face. This is going to go straight out to uh, the wine bottle garden, and there will be a plant sitting on it. This is not something I would have anyone stand or sit on because I don't feel like it would be safe. But a plant sitting on that will, number one, flatten that right out. And I'm not worried about a plant sitting on it. It's not going to, yeah, we're going to be just fine with that. And this is going to look so perfect out there. So that's where that's going. Finally, ugh, we have the vases. And again, this is still from Burlington. And we've got some cracks. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so this one, it's got a good crack there and a good crack there. We will put some E6000 on those and then um, use some tape to kind of hold them tight. I have clamps, but I'm afraid that would just totally destroy it. But we can try to tighten it up with some tape while that dries. And then the other one, look at, look at that, that's gorgeous. Yeah, it's got a crack there, but it hasn't really broken open. We will add some E6000 and hopefully that will keep it from getting any worse. These are, these are gorgeous. These are ridiculously gorgeous. I'm in love with these. All right. Last but certainly not least is what is in this box and uh, it's all in pieces. I'm going to try putting it together. Uh, stay tuned for just a moment. All right, there you go. So you can see that the, the mirrors are quite cracked, but I really like that look. I'm actually really cool with that. Here are the pieces that shook out. I will get some E6000 and I will add some in to fill up that space. This is not meant to be just a table just like this, but that is the way that I did it. And let me show you why. All right, in the box that it came with, there is also this piece, but it is cracked. And yes, I could absolutely glue that and it would probably be fine, but I like the table looking the way that it, that it is. It also has these four, and so what you also could do is use it as a footrest, just screw these little legs in instead of the long ones, but here's what it's meant to do. You're meant to have the top, then the long legs, then the shelf, and then the shorter ones, but you don't have to do it the way that they show you. That's the thing, we live so much in this in this society, this way of thinking, this mindset that we just have to fit into the box, you know, and do things the way they've always been done, the way that everyone else does them. You don't have to. I don't have to. We don't have to. Okay. You can live outside the box. <sighs> All right. Anyway, that's me living outside the box. There you go. Yep. I love it. Uh, I will probably keep this one inside. It, I mean, it could be lacquered and go out in the wine bottle garden, but I think it'll look really cute inside. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. And I'm going to keep these legs in case I change my mind and decide that I want it to be a footrest. Totally forgot a couple of things. We found so much this weekend that, yeah, I'm, yeah, there's a lot. So we've got some scrap metal. We've got this glorious copper. Oh my goodness. You know, we'll be doing something fun with this. Copper is so pretty. Uh, even, you know, after ages, as well as when it's fresh and, and shiny, more pieces. Yeah, we're going to, I don't know what we're going to do with these, but probably a wind chime since that's kind of the mode that I'm in right now. But then let me show you the couple other things that I forgot. Uh, some of you, several of you very astutely pointed out that this was a fire pit. <laughs> the, there's the little table part with the funny legs. I don't know what I'm going to craft this into, but uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to think of something, something with it. And then this is that other table and there's the top. It's just a little muffed up, but yeah, I will most likely, as a lot of you uh, suggested and asked, I will most likely do a mosaic on top of this. I think that would be fantastic. And yes, I will bring you along. And yes, this will be an outdoor table. There are some random bricks that were there that I picked up. And then finally, I really think we are at the end now, um, some pumice stones. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with those. I mean, I could just throw them out in the yard somewhere in one of the flower beds, but I would prefer to actually come up with something to do with them. I don't know. If you have ideas, please tell us in the comments. Thank you so much for coming along. Uh, there's that little metal thing from the sign. That will get turned into something else as well. You all have a great day. We'll see you very soon. So remember the uh, angel that we found in a public school dumpster? Some illegal dumping? She was all in pieces. No idea if she would even work. I think she makes a perfectly lovely addition to the ongoing, <laughs> ever ongoing wine garden.
or wine bottle garden project. I don't think I'll paint her. I think she's perfect just the way she is um, as far as colors go. But I might add some beads because we've been adding beads to like everything. <laughs> beads are a lot of fun and we have tons of them from the bins. So I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we will add some colorful beads to her. Anyway, isn't that fabulous? I'm in love with it. And so glad that it works. There's a few things that, yeah, we need to kind of bend back into, into place. But other than that, looks like she's missing something that went right here. I don't know what, but this like kind of cuff kind of bracelet thing will cover that just fine. Yeah. So whatever it was that was there really doesn't matter. <sighs> Straight from the bins. There's the, uh, bamboo cane that my grandpa gave me and remember I had to tape the handle because it was broken I had taped it years ago and just had it sitting up in the attic forever and ever and ever well now it's got beads lots and lots of beads these ones here are all on wire and then glued on with E600 or 6000 or whatever it is and then these beads uh, Olivia my Lulu she strung those for me and those are also glued on and then finally Last thing I'll show you is the mailbox. It's a plastic mailbox. It's the one that we found uh, some illegal dumping in a dollar store. And just so happened that one of the people whose names were on it, her name was Julie, just like me. I think that's pretty cool. While I'm out here, it sounds like the neighbors are having a domestic situation. Never know when to call the cops. Do you wait till it's like crazy violent or I don't know. We get a lot of that in this area, um, in this neighborhood. We're kind of used to it. The cops know this neighborhood. Anyway, uh, the fence is almost done. I've got the tape on here and the tops are pretty much done. I just put on the last coat. I've also started on the right sides of the red pillars. Those are all taped off and I have done a coat on those. We did that before we went camping. Uh, the bottom panels are all done, which is awesome. There will be some touching up after doing um, all the red and everything. I'm sure there'll be some touching up, but there's always touching up. That's just part of the part of the game in this kind of project, but it is almost there, guys. And do you know, I'm in love with it. I really am. I am really in love with it. It's very Dr. Seuss, or uh, it also matches like our Legos. There's my chair. I've been sitting out here watching movies on my free seven day trial of stars on Prime. It's especially this, like that's totally Dr. Seuss. That's that water. But yeah, all the new flowers, we've got them all potted up. Now they just need to fill in where they are living. There is the red frame. It wasn't red, but I painted it, spray painted it. It's the one that we found in uh, the Michael's craft store bin, and it will be hanging somewhere, probably right there horizontally. And I've got all the beads ready, all strung up and ready. I just need to drill holes in the top and bottom or the top and bottom this way. I don't know yet how I'm going to do it exactly. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention the hula hoops. These are some that we have found in the bins and I will be spraying them. And they are going to hang from the eaves up here. I know that's gonna sound weird to some of you, but I saw it in the Ashton Gardens that we visited the other day and I was in love with the idea. And then this, this is gonna be, be weird to some of you, but this yellow thing here, it's, it's a metal uh, ring and it was actually, part of a like a laundry basket a uh, canvas laundry basket that we found in the bins and we used for a couple of years and then it was just totally worn out and I took this out of it it was part of what uh, just you know was the structure of the of the of the laundry basket I recycled the fabric but kept that uh, metal ring and we are going to the kids and I were going to make sun catchers out of plastic bottles and sharpies sharpies are from the bins and we're going to be working on that tomorrow and we will add them to that ring and they will hang from there. 
somewhere. So between all those different things uh, being painted and added, it should definitely cut some of that glare as well and help make this an even more enjoyable place. Having the fence colored is definitely helping. That is making a huge difference, but the more plants that we can add, the more things we can do to kind of break up all that glaring white. Yeah, it's all making a difference and it's all helping. I will bring you out for a daytime tour uh, as soon as we have finished all the hangy things that are going up there, but I wanted to show you our sweet angel and you can only do that at night. How cool is that? All right, we'll see you guys real soon.